This video is about PCB transmission lines and incident wave calculation. If a long transmission line is connected to an output, the driver only sees a transmission line. The amplitude of the incident wave depends on the ratio of the line impedance Z0 and the internal resistance of the output buffer. The stronger the driver is, the smaller the internal resistance will be. If the internal resistance is known, the voltage divider equation can be used to calculate the amplitude of the incident wave that travels down the transmission line. On the other hand, the same approach can be used to calculate the internal resistance of an output buffer if the incident wave was obtained by measurement or simulation. We simply solve the equation for the internal resistance and put in the corresponding values for V0, line impedance Z0, and amplitude of incident wave. Let's take a look at an example. In this example, we connect a vertex 4 LVTTL F 24 milliamps output to a long transmission line. This is a 3.3 volt I.O. buffer provided by Xilinx. We simulate the circuit. We measure the amplitude of the incident wave, which is 2.6 volts. If we put the values in the equation, we'll get an internal resistance of 13 ohms. Sometimes component vendors characterize the driver strength in milliamps when the output voltage is held at a fixed voltage. For example, LVTTLF24 states a drive strength of 24 milliamps under the condition that the output is held at a constant voltage of 3.0 volts. This drive strength value cannot be used to calculate the internal resistance. It just describes a measurement condition, nothing else. The actual current can be much higher depending on the current load. Now we're going to change the model and calculate the internal resistance of an output buffer of the same family. Let's choose LVTTLF6 and run the simulation. Now the incident wave is much lower. One point three volts. Putting this into the equation gives us an internal resistance of seventy seven ohms, which is much more than the previous calculated thirteen ohms.